I went to a party on Star Island in Miami uh, where P. Diddy has a private residence. And I went to use a bathroom and it was a um, on the bathroom sink. Savage! I'm a savage! Oh! What's next? I gotta get it. I'm not gonna stay American rapper Cameron made some shocking revelations about Diddy's strange after parties and how he allegedly slipped substances in his guest drinks. While speaking in an interview, Cam revealed that he attended a party on Star Island in Miami, where Diddy resides. I went to a party on Star Island in Miami uh, where P. Diddy has a private residence. The rapper went on to speak about how he took a bunch of ecstasy since he saw everyone taking it. I took a whole bunch of ecstasy. Afterward, Cam allegedly started looking for the bathroom. I am on ecstasy and I'm trying to find the bathroom. Mm -hmm. and I can't find the bathroom and, and I just kind of like go down a flight of stairs and now I'm in like the inner windings of the mansion because yeah. most of it's going down by the pool. The rapper also talked about how the house was some sort of a maze, making it hard for an intoxicated person to find his way out. So I get lost and I'm in like just a maze of rooms. Yeah. Now I'm looking for the bathroom. Things then took a weird twist when Cam came across a room where all the creepy stuff was taking place. Yeah. Open a door and in that room, there are a bunch of men mm -hmm. and they're all kind of like very like Romanesque. Cameron explained that he felt as though he had interrupted something. Anyway, things got creepier when Diddy spotted Cameron. The minute I make eye contact with him, like a gigantic bouncer comes over and says, get the out. Because a lot of people turned and looked at me because it was very unexpected. Cameron was clearly traumatized by what he saw. He even said that he knew for sure that Diddy was high and that he was actually gay. The rapper then revealed that Diddy never forgot his face. In fact, during one of Diddy's interviews, he noticed Cam in the background. He literally stops the interview and he points at me all the way in the back and he goes, yo, you, my man. What's more, Cameron revealed that Diddy later on invited him out to lunch. Being that uh, uh, invited me there before, I had lunch with him. Creepy, right? Anyway, this is not the first time Cameron has spoken about the weird things that happen in Diddy's household. Cameron has also spoken about how he once found a toy at Diddy's place. That's right. Cameron made a shocking revelation on the Breakfast Club radio show saying he found a toy in Diddy's bathroom. And I went to use a bathroom and it was a um, on the bathroom sink. In addition to this, a recently resurfaced video of Diddy showing his son how to mix up drinks has raised some eyebrows. Uh, but that's the way we drink our deli on tequila. First, we get ice cold, we go and put it in. You know? I don't know about you, but that video feels like Diddy is trying to show Justin how to mix up drinks and slip something in them. What's more, in a separate video, Diddy is seen drinking one of those drinks, then reacting in a crazy manner. One would almost think that his drink had something else in it. Crazy. Anyway, while there might not be any video proof of Diddy trying to spike his guest drinks, it is obvious he did it since many male celebrities are openly terrified of having drinks with the hip-hop mogul. One particular person who is terrified of Diddy is Fab. In a recent Drink Champs interview, Diddy kept pressing Fabulous to answer why they never partied together. Fab literally looked like he wanted to disappear off the face of the earth. Yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like when you, when oh, you right scrambling here, right this. Here. No, 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 I, got I no like shit. that. For the rest of the interview, Fabulous just kept staring at his plate and eating his birthday cake like he was terrified of even making eye contact with Diddy. Another person who has spoken about what goes down at Diddy's creepy parties is Diddy's ex-bodyguard. Gene Deal has been spilling some seriously scandalous tea about what went down behind the scenes and at Diddy's wild parties. And let's just say, it's not for the faint of heart. According to Gene, there were certain areas that Diddy would frequent, and his bodyguards were not allowed in. But that didn't stop the ladies who were invited from dishing all the juicy details to Gene. Apparently, he was privy to some pretty disturbing things that went on at these secret soirees, which involved some seriously sadistic and demonic behavior. Although he wasn't allowed into these private rooms, Gene still managed to get the inside scoop on what went on behind closed doors. He said that he was in a situation where he saw men being set up and lured by women at Diddy's party parties, only for them to eventually end up in inappropriate positions with white men. He claimed that he also used to take Diddy and his friends to Turkish houses, and as much as he wasn't allowed into the houses, he knew what happened there. He picked up uh, some things from up <laughs> left side, and then he, he picked like a, quite a few of them down. I'm like, you okay. He put them in the bag. So when I went by there, and I looked up there, I, and it said, butt plug. And I was like, hey, yo. <laughs> 
Another person who similarly shared his feelings about Diddy being gay was 50 Cent. He once posted something on Instagram that he later deleted. The caption stated, Sorry I can no longer help you guys, soon you will all be gay and happy, 50 wrote. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. 50 Cent also revealed that he felt weird around Diddy since the hip-hop star always acted gay. What is he talking about? Uh, <laughs> gone off. When Ensign people gone. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. What's more, 50 Cent once posted two pictures of Diddy allegedly trying to smooch men. In one photo, the hip-hop mogul appears to be trying to lock lips with Rick Ross. In another photo, Diddy is wearing a pink shirt while hugging former record executive Steve Stout, who is also dressed in pink. I ain't saying nothing, but something ain't right, El Mao, 50 Cent wrote in the caption. But it appears the rapper suddenly realized he'd gone too far. Soon after, the rapper removed the post from his Instagram account. In any case, it's no secret that Diddy hosts some pretty wild parties. In fact, recently, an insider discussed Combs' parties in Ibiza, which included chocolate body paint, his personal sex bag, and a lot of celebrities. No expense was spared, the source shared. This was the last word in hedonism. We were approached by one of his PAs, Dia, and did everything for them from the moment they touched down on the island. That included cars, tables at clubs, yachts, security and DJs, and some guests for his parties. There were a lot of glamorous women there, young girls but not underage, which we wouldn't have stood for. The insider added that one party had partygoers in various states of undress, and part of their responsibility was for the party to run smoothly. Ibiza is the place in Europe to party hard, the source added, noting that Diddy had a sex bag he packed for the trip. The bag included S toys and lubricants. But Diddy's parties were truly something else, they continued. I remember one time being sent out in the early hours to buy chocolate body paint. Diddy had a drink of choice, of course. He liked Ciroc vodka. He was very particular about his drinks, the source continued. He was always dressed immaculately, too. The insider added that Combs' long-term girlfriend Cassandra Cassie Ventura was often present for the parties in Ibiza, but she looked unhappy and stayed out of sight. Puffy is known for his wild parties, and many celebrities have visited his homes to party with him. Stevie J is a good friend of Combs, and he posted footage from a real Diddy party to Instagram. The party is from Combs' 50th birthday bash in Beverly Hills in 2019. Anyway, despite all these scandalous discoveries, Cameron is still considering doing business with Diddy. You see, last year, Cameron had posted a video of Diddy and his son, Justin Combs, checking out his enhancement supplement, Pink Horse Power. The product's website claims to empower a man's intimacy by helping to improve stamina and libido. I can't tell you exactly what it do, but you have a lot of fun with your ladies, baby. And I guarantee you that for a fact. The product claims to improve stamina and libido, but when Puff attempts to open the jar, he struggles to unseal the lid. That's that ish when you can't open the top, so you know it's that work. Puff jokes, it's sealed if you know the children can't get to it. However, the video ends before they're seen drinking the elixir. Despite the comedic setback, the supplement has received tons of attention for its supposed benefits. Cam previously took credit for ASAP Rocky impregnating Rihanna with their first child after the power couple announced their pregnancy. In a video posted on his Instagram, Rocky samples the supplement. Killa joked in the captions about the timing, I'm just saying check day dates, he wrote. Congrats to Flacco and Dasis Riri, welcome to Harlem. Meanwhile, Mace, who has been at odds with Diddy over the years due to a financial dispute dating back to his days as a bad boy artist, took to the comments section to send a prayer for Cam. God please tell Diddy bring the briefcase cause I can't swap this out for publishing. He wrote in the comment section. What's more, comedian Jay Faroa also issued a warning to Cameron writing, don't drink the Kirok brah. Later on, the Harlem World rapper took to Instagram on Wednesday, April 19th to poke fun at Cam for having the zip on his jeans undone while hanging out with Puff. Cameron, I signed off on you going over there but not to have your zipper down, Mace joked. I taught you better than that. Cameron responded in the comments section, I oh bro. In any case, Diddy has cemented the rumors of him being gay over the years with his actions. For instance, in 2021, during the BET Awards, Lil Nas took to stage and pulled out all the stops, executing a rendition of Montero, 
Call Me By Your Name, in honor of Michael Jackson. Much like the King of Pop's 1991 hit, Remember the Time, the performance boasted an Egyptian theme with Lil Nas X sporting an Egyptian headdress and gold attire. But it was the passionate kiss with a male dancer at the end that caught Diddy's attention, along with the rest of Twitter. Shortly after Lil Nas X exited the stage, Diddy hopped on Twitter to applaud the Grammy award-winning rapper for his courage. Lil Nas X did that, he wrote. Be fearless! As for Lil Nas X, he was met with both praise and criticism from the general public. Of course, the negativity is nothing he can't handle. The Old Town Road breakout star has been the recipient of plenty of homophobia since he came out in June 2019, when someone who evidently didn't appreciate the salacious gesture tweeted, Don't use African culture for ish like this. Respect our ancestors, Lil Nas X replied. Y'all really like to pretend homosexuality didn't exist in African culture. But Diddy wasn't off the hook either. He faced an onslaught of gay jokes for supporting Lil Nas X until he was a trending Twitter topic. But for someone who legally changed his middle name to Love, there's a sense Diddy wasn't worried about all the hate that flowed his way. One fan actually commented, Diddy wanna kiss Lil Nas X now, be fearless Diddy. Come out the closet and show the world it's okay to be gay, stop playing like you're not. Another added, Diddy definitely gay for that tweet. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks, bye.